front. So this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well a Scorpio Rising weekly general tarot reading um, May 25th to May 21st, 2020. And should you be interested in a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can uh, purchase such. So with that being set aside, moving to the general uh, reading of Scorpio. Now the first card that we do have for a Scorpio, that will be the Queen of Wands and that represents the week itself or rather the topic of the week, followed by uh, the Wheel of Fortune, which stands as the, as the oh my God, energies which are um, supporting us or they are feeding and supporting the topic, followed by the Page of Swords, which stands as the challenges that we need to overcome a Scorpio. Uh, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the Ten of uh, Cups, followed by the Queen of uh, the King of Swords. I'm sorry, which uh, stands for how other people are going to see us. And uh, the last one, which is uh, the guidance that Taru is offering to us, that is going to be the Seven of Wands. So those uh, those six cards. Right, um, so what we do have here um, for the week itself are those two cards. So Queen of Wands, Topic, and uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is the energies. So with those two cards, it is very likely that we're going to feel ourselves free in this uh, in this upcoming week meaning that we can we, we get to do whatever we like uh, for a couple of reasons first of all because we we can do it and second of all because we are going to be given the opportunity to do it that is uh, described here into the uh, energies of the week itself but also those energies are forming in a such a way that for us at least we are going to have that um, if you will on an extraordinary chance or extraordinary opportunity as well to make some radical changes or rather like once in a lifetime changes into our life that could be a change into our relationship status change into our career status uh change into our social status as well the thing with the wheel of fortune is that we're going to be very initiative here throughout the week itself making usage of everything that is thrown into our way now uh, from the universe itself and um, from anybody and anything in general being able to capitalize on even the minorest opportunity that comes our way uh, because that will throw us as well into the situation of the Queen of Wands and it does depend what kind of a field that situation refers to for you at least if that's about the business field then these two cards with the energies of opportunities and with the situation of the Queen of Wands we will be able to establish a very, very successful business endeavors. Um, it's kind of like a, a very successful breakthroughs, if you will, in terms of career, uh, successfully finalizing projects, successfully finding jobs, and in generally being capable to um, capitalize on our exceptional uh, business sense, if you will, to be able to simply make the things work. Uh, now, if that's about your relationship situation, it could replay for both of the situation. Those cards here are talking that you are or we are going to be very attractive. OK, uh, if of the options available around us uh, does not suit us, uh, then that week will present us with a new options available for forming a relationship or for proceeding with our relationship moving forward. And it will come to us, you know, how we are to capitalize and utilize of those uh, of those options available. One more thing is very important here to be acknowledged. It is that it is highly unlikely that we, we, we are to be deceived throughout the week from the representation of somebody. Whenever someone present themselves to us, we are all immediately going to know what kind of a person we are dealing with. And therefore, we will be able to um, adopt the right or the appropriate um, the appropriate approach, if you will, toward the person itself. So what will be the uh, challenge here of the week? That will be a person. OK, we do have a page of swords 
uh, it's not really related to the uh, energies and to the situation itself. That is something completely peripheral and that is the good thing about it. So we do have a someone who is quite aggressive toward us and it's constantly countering us in everything we do and countering and countering I mean it is like always criticizing us or always it is in yeah in a counter of what we do so for just to give you an example we do something into our career to make a breakthrough to make a progress and they are trying to diminish that these results or rather like to make us believe that you know we did rather less things that we than we actually did so it's a i don't know how to describe it but it is a person who constantly is against us and it's constantly dragging us into a a, a, a pointless argument into wrangles uh in the most severe way as a challenge that is a liar guy that tries to present us with fictions and tries to present those fictions as a fact so we can be deceived and uh, for one or another reason to serve his purpose instead of going forward for a our purpose so uh in term of a, a gift and blessings throughout the week we do have the ten of cups so ten of cups in term of gifts and blessing it's pretty obvious that we are going to enjoy ourselves and we're going to enjoy our envi uh, environment in generally uh that card kind of points more to uh consolidation rather than to a uh, moving toward new things and as we do have the energies and the uh, situation itself that are about new things then the card points here as a gifts and blessings that we have done what we had to do in order to secure our current possessions okay and from there we are safe to try a new things because as a gift and blessing uh, the ten of cups sometimes refer to that uh, to that nature of the human being that we have to go for more if we do want to improve but with the ten of cups when one goes for more it always consolidated what one had beforehand so that being said, we can take the opportunity of the ten of, of the uh, major arcana ten. I'm sorry, rule of fortune, and capitalize on it through the situation of the queen of wands without being afraid that we are to jeopardize or risk something or that we have to sacrifice something as well. Needless to say, that um, that card could be um, a sign that um, a very long-lasting. I don't want to say true, but very long-lasting love. Uh, is going to reside in us but the ten of cups it's not only about romantic love it could be a friendship love you know it could be a motherhood or parental love if you will so we are gonna feel loved from somebody in a some certain way uh following next it is the impression that we are leaving into the people around in another words how other people takes us that is going to be the uh, king of swords so people are going to see us uh, first and foremost as a, um, a force to be reckoned with as a matter of fact even if we do have certain enemies here throughout the week even if there are people who stands against us it is very very unlikely that we are going that they are going to wage war uh, on us and they are going to um, how can I say escalate the competition here because they once again they are to recognize that this week the very least we should not be a person to mess around with for reason being is that we are going to have the edge with the opportunity that comes to us this once in a lifetime opportunity to make a, a, a significant change into our life Additionally to that, people are going to see us very, I don't know how to say it, not exactly smart, more like a clever, in a sense of that um, through careful analysis, we are always finding the most appropriate way to capitalize on something or to push something through. And for that reason, um, you know, people are going to have an impression that we are very, very successful and that we can definitely accomplish whatever we are going after. So uh, that being said, um, just to give you an example here, your boss may see you as a very capable, but also uh, they will expect from you a lot because they see that you are someone who always can find a way through and the last card which stands as the guidance for a scorpio that is going to be the seven of, of uh, wands so uh it's very important here 
to um, uh, as we are going to have a, a huge dynamic or meaning that we are going to be very initiative throughout the week and many things uh, are out there that we can capitalize on it will be very important not to um, involve ourselves or throw ourselves into a magic circles what I mean is that we need to be very certain that whatever enterprise we jump into to perform and to develop we have to be able to sustain it and as well with the seven of wands it is very characteristic to the card one to budge on a um, on a temptation you know going for a thing that you definitely cannot push through but because right now you do have the opportunity to at least get involved into it you uh, are unable or we are unable to resist the temptation so it's very uh, once again it's very important to be also guard, um, defensive about our domain if you will in the sense of that once we start doing something it becomes a part of our domain and therefore we need to be able to maintain it another thing about the seven of wands as a uh, guidance it is that there is always a better way to do things or in a sense there is a uh, no I, I have not expressed myself correctly um even if at a certain stages, you know, things may look like helpless, there is always the right time and the right moment, one, to reverse that kind of a situation. So pretty much for us, this week is going to be very, very productive and uh, hands down, it will be the one of the most active weeks that we had this far uh, in terms of manifestation and in terms of performance, in terms of capitalizing on opportunities so it's highly advisable that you we in that me uh, that um, includes myself into uh, should not be lazy and should not slack should not make any excuses under any circumstances not to do things and as well it's very important not to allow ourselves to be deceived okay and whatever it is brought to you or to us as an information it needs to be placed against what we know to be true that is the way how we are to sober ourselves and to really see the uh, the real diagnosis of the situation and the circumstances that we are to find ourselves in so that being said this was our weekly general tarot reading for may 25th to may 31st 2020 once again if you are interested in a private reading you can purchase such from our website which link you can find in the description down below and with that being said we may see each other around until then Bye.